Well, all right, all right, all right. We're in Natural Bridge, Virginia, and uh, decided to stop here on the way through. Uh, went out of our way, actually. Uh, probably gonna take us a couple hours out of our way heading back to Myrtle Beach. But we stopped here in Natural Bridge. There's actually this cute little dinosaur kingdom right here on the side of the road. And actually across the street, you have a, a, a safari gift shop and a, actually a zoo. But uh, the zoo, I think, is actually a breeding zoo. But I just wanted to stop here because this is so cool. They've got this Civil War uh, army soldier fighting a dinosaur here on top of this building here. So check that out. This is the Dinosaur Kingdom. It's actually closed right now, but we're gonna keep on down and head on down into Natural Bridge. It's uh, actually, it's warmed up into the 40s now. It's been anywhere from 27. It's been cold, it's been a cold morning. But anyway, we're in Natural Bridge, Virginia. We're gonna head over to the bridge now. Well, we've made it into the uh, check-in for this Natural Bridge here. There's actually a pretty big, uh, looks like a, uh, I guess it's a gift shop with all kinds of uh, gifts here that you can purchase here. But it's actually way bigger gift shop than I would have thought it would have been. But it's actually probably was something else at some point in time. And I don't think this was just a, a gift shop. But we're going to go down and uh, it's like 137 steps down to the bridge. And then we'll check in, and uh, actually the caverns are uh, privately owned. So we'll, I don't know if we'll head over to the caverns or not, but we're going to head over to the bridge now. Well, it's, I think it's going to be a long walk down to, the, uh, down to the bridge here. But the bridge, I think, is uh, not owned by the state, but it is a state park. I think it was uh, some type of purchase of around 2016 or is designated as a state park in 2016 but you better be ready to do a little walk in here hopefully I won't be out of breath by the time we get down I know I'll be out of breath when we get back up well I cannot pronounce this tree right here but this tree was like 1600 years old when it died in 1980 which would have actually been about the same time but maybe uh, I think I came here in the 70s with my mom and papa but this tree was 1600 years old and the Native Americans used the leaves from this tree to get vitamin C for scurvy, which is pretty cool. But we're going to head on down, farther on down. How many steps, you say? I don't know. There's like 137 steps down. This thing is absolutely huge. I cannot get over the sheer, sheer size of this. George Washington actually surveyed this. As a young surveyor, I think his initials are over here on the wall somewhere. We'll have to see if we can see them. But this is 55 feet higher than Niagara Falls. This is crazy. I bet that's Washington's right there. We'll have to see here. Gray limestone. But Washington actually has got his GW in the year that he was actually here. Then they did find a uh, surveyor's stone that actually had his name imprinted on it. But I think if you look right there. I don't know if I can zoom all the way in on it, but that is actually uh, George Washington's initials, GW, in the year that he was here. But we're directly up underneath of it right now. Wow. Is absolutely just beautiful. They must do some type of light show or something here because they've got the outdoor seating. It 
This is crazy beautiful. What you think, Nay? Oh God. Huh? I think oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. May thinks oh my god, this is beautiful. But there's actually some waterfalls up here, I believe, so we're gonna go up and check them out. Well this is not only is this bridge beautiful, this little creek that's running underneath of it and around it is beautiful. But look at the colors in that. Actually, they have a, uh, might be, I think there was a road that went across it. I don't think it's still open though, but they've got a fence up there so where you can't go across. Uh, well, I don't know really what this is, but there's actually like a little cathedral set up here. And it's got power. It's got electricity to it. They must do some type of little show here, or must have done a show here. Uh, this looks like it might be a, a settlement or maybe a, a palisade. Defensive perimeters. And... Monacan Living History Exhibit. So this was actually a, an Indian settlement, huh? 1699. 1699, a little Indian settlement. And this is how they would have set it up. But that's pretty cool. But I don't think we could have picked a prettier time to come up here and see all this with the, uh, I know it's, the, the uh, foliage is completely gone but we still have a lot of oranges and yellows and greens left but yeah this is really really beautiful little exhibit here well I think we're getting closer to the falls but this is a uh, that gray limestone right there it's so pretty the colors here contrast in the colors really showing up right here the sun's just barely coming up over the mountain there on that back side of it but this is the uh, path and way up that looks like that might be a fall right over here no fishes I don't see no fish but this is a, a great time of year to come up here so this is a all this fall foliage really showing itself right now. Well, this is the uh, Lost River entrance right here. While they were mining saltpeter down here in the other cave, they didn't get no footage of because there were a lot of people there. But this little cave right here, the people that were working down there extracting the saltpeter from the bat dung and uh, other stuff, but. Uh, they heard this river right here. They don't know where it goes to. They actually blasted this opening that you see here. They've tried to find the exit point, but to no avail. No one's ever been able to find it. But this is the Lost River underground. This has actually turned into quite a hike here. I think we'll uh, eventually make it to the falls. But it's it's a quite quite a hike, so you better be ready to do some walking here. But this little creek, little river here, is beautiful, very uh, very tranquil. Well, this is the uh, start of the creek right here, where it comes down out of the mountains here. But there it is, the falls right here. That's actually very beautiful. How many gallons of water have went over those falls, and that's been flowing. 200 million years and that actually might have been the uh, start of the underground river that flowed down all the way down and formed the natural bridge of Virginia all the way down this creek basin but this is actually very beautiful up here would love to see it at full flow we've not had a lot of rain for a while but this is uh this is great but be ready for a hike up here this is probably at least 15 to 20 minutes to get up here to it. This is uh, 
beautiful the way this water has flowed over this limestone and created these ripples in the rocks creating these little falls all the way down all the way down to the natural bridge but uh, beautiful time of the year look at these leaves falling here picturesque picturesque well, this is the actual cavern that they were actually mining saltpeter out of. Thomas Jefferson uh, owned it, was mining saltpeter to make uh, gunpowder out of. When they found the uh, Lost River up there, they blasted that hole and found that hole that actually has a Lost River in it, but never been able to find the exit point for the Lost River. But that's the cavern that they were actually mining saltpeter out of. Uh, well, we've made it back down to the uh, natural bridge. We're just looking at this here, how this ravine right here in the rock has captured a lot of debris right here. And you can see on top of it, there's a uh, soda can or something up on top of it. Humans at their best. But yeah, this is, uh, this is beautiful. Absolutely just beautiful. It's so immense. Uh, that tree is growing out of the rocks. Several of those up through the ravine, up to the falls. But 215 feet, 55 feet higher than Niagara Falls. And how nature has carved her beauty in this limestone. And as Thomas Jefferson once put it, The most sublime of nature's works, Thomas Jefferson. Two of the uh, North American wonders here, Niagara Falls and the Natural Bridge of Virginia. Well, actually, this was well worth the uh, three-hour excursion into Virginia here to see the Natural Bridge of Virginia. It's in the background back here. Absolutely just beautiful. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. We'll see you on the flip side and stay frosty. Let's go on to Myrtle Beach.